G'day everyone. Today we're going to have a look at Jake brakes or engine compression brakes. We'll have a look at what they are, what they do, and how they work. Now you may not have seen a Jake brake before, but most likely you would have heard them before. And as you can hear, it's quite a loud noise that it makes and it's quite disruptive. You may see signs in residential areas, especially on trucking routes that say, do not use your compression brakes in this area. The sound travels very well. And that sound is made by the ECM manipulating the valve train in a very specific way in order to slow the engine down without using a transmission retarder or using the service brakes, which tend to overheat down hills. And it's not an exhaust brake either. That is something different. And we'll go into that a little bit later. So what is the difference between the Jake brake and the exhaust brake? Well, an exhaust brake is basically just a flap or a valve in the exhaust system, which restricts any exhaust gases leaving the engine. If we can restrict any of them gases exiting, we can also restrict how much air is coming in and it slows down the ability of the engine to scavenge and that slows the engine down and it will actually do it automatically when we lift off the throttle. If we have it turned on, we lift the throttle, the flap will engage in the exhaust and it will slow the engine down but not as effectively as a Jake brake. So what is going on inside the engine when we turn the Jake brakes on? Well, usually we'll have a four stroke cycle where we have an intake stroke taking in air. We have a compression stroke where we'll compress that air. We have a power stroke where we inject diesel and force the piston back down. And then we have an exhaust stroke where the cylinder will exhaust all the gases as the piston comes up through the exhaust valve. Now that changes a little bit when we turn the Jake brake on. We still have an intake stroke where we take air in and then we compress that air and then we have no power stroke. The injector is switched off by the ECM and the Jake brake is turned on. After that power stroke that doesn't happen, the exhaust valve will actually open as the piston is heading back down. The Jake brake forces the exhaust valve to open when the injection would normally happen. Then we have our exhaust stroke as normal and the exhaust valve is open for that as well. So we have two exhaust valve openings during the four stroke cycle when the Jake brake is on. Now the reason for this is as we compress the air, the piston will actually slow down against that force of trying to compress air. But usually the expansion of that air will allow the piston to move back down again. Now we don't want that. We don't want to assist the piston moving back down. We want it to have resistance on the way up and that is it. So we have the resistance on the way up, we have the compression, and then the exhaust valve will open when we'd normally have a power stroke and that will release all of that air and doesn't allow the piston to use the expansion of the air to push the piston back down. So the piston slows down on the way up and it's very slow on the way down as well. Now the Jake brake is doing that by opening the exhaust valve out of time of when it usually would. And that gives us the sound that we've got. We've got that compressed air getting released through the exhaust valve and then the exhaust valve is opening again on the exhaust stroke as well. This allows us to slow the engine down and maintain the speed of the truck going down the hill. Now we have on a six cylinder engine, we have three Jake brake actuators and we can actually turn on just one or all three to give us progressive braking. So if we turn on all three, all of the pistons inside that six cylinder engine are working against compression and having all of that compressed air exhaust through the exhaust pipe out of step of the usual four stroke cycle. So how does the Jake brake actuator work? Well, it is a manifold that sits on top of the valve train and it has a master piston and a slave piston. Between them is a solenoid. When we turn on the Jake brakes, we switch off the injectors, but we also activate that solenoid. When the solenoid is open, engine oil pressure will flow into the Jake brake actuator and allow the master and the slave piston to be hydraulically linked. Now, when the unit injector rocker arm rocks over to actuate the injector, it is also actuating the master piston, which is controlling the slave piston on top of the exhaust valve. When we'd normally have injection, we now have an exhaust valve opening. You turn the Jake brakes off, the solenoid closes and the engine oil pressure drains out of the actuator and the master and slave piston are no longer linked and the Jake brake is switched off. So what are the pros and cons of the Jake brake system? Well, on the pro side of things, they're very good at maintaining speed and slowing a truck down over a long distance down a big long hill without overheating your brakes or wearing your brakes out. You can just turn the Jake brake on and you can maintain your speed all the way down the hill. On the con side of things, 
they're very noisy when they're doing it, not only for the driver, but for everyone around, they make quite a lot of noise. They're also a little bit harder on the drive line. The engine is resisting rotation quite harshly, and you have a heavy load going down a big hill. The rest of the drive line is taking quite a bit of load. The differential and the transmission will have a bit more load on them when you have the jake brake turned on over your service brakes. And of course, they do take a little bit longer when you're doing a valve set. They get in the way a little bit, and it can cost you a little bit more when it comes time to do a valve set at the dealership or something like that, but the costs are fairly negligible. But it does take a little bit longer to do a valve set when you have a jake brake manifold fitted over the top. So that's it. That's pretty much how the jake brake system works. I hope this has helped. Thank you very much for watching.